scientists are now thinking maybe the Big Bang wasn't the start of it all. From the vast expansion of the universe to the mind-bending idea of cosmic inflation, we're peeling back the layers of the cosmos to uncover its secrets. Get ready for a journey through space and time where we explore the possibility of what came before the Big Bang and how it reshapes our understanding of the universe. Imagine, for a long time, everyone thought our universe kicked off with a huge event called the Big Bang. It's like thinking of everything we see around us, stars, planets, you and me, starting from a single point, a dot so tiny you can't even see it. This tiny dot exploded into everything. It's like blowing up a balloon. It expands as you fill it with air. That's what the universe is doing, expanding. But the more we learn, the more we realize this story isn't that simple. Saying the Big Bang was the beginning of everything might not be right. It's like finding out there's a first page to your favorite book you never knew existed. We used to think the universe was born from this big explosion and started growing from there. But now, scientists think there is more to the story. Let's talk about why scientists think the universe didn't just pop into existence with the Big Bang. When we look out into space, we see clues that tell us the universe has been growing, cooling down, and forming all the stuff in it for a long time. There are a few key pieces of evidence that make us rethink the whole Big Bang as the start line. First off, we've got the universe expanding. This is like noticing that the more you blow up the balloon, the further away every point on the balloon gets from each other. Then, there's this leftover warmth spread out everywhere, the cosmic microwave background, which is like the afterglow of a big cosmic fireworks show. It's super cold now, but it's there all over. Next, we find certain light elements, like hydrogen and helium, in specific amounts scattered around, which tells us they came from an early, very hot and dense state, even before stars started to shine. And lastly, the universe looks like a cosmic web, with galaxies and voids showing us it's been getting more complex and structured over time. Before we explore beyond the Big Bang, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to stay on this journey through the cosmos with us. So we've always said the Big Bang was day one, but what if it was just a scene in a much bigger story? Let's dig into the clues that suggest the universe's backstory is way more interesting. So if the Big Bang wasn't the starting gun of the universe, what was it? Scientists are still working on this puzzle. They think the universe was already hot, dense, and nearly uniform before it started to expand and cool into the stars and galaxies we see today. If we push the clock back even further, before all these phenomena, the picture becomes fuzzier. We reach a point where our current understanding and theories don't quite hold up anymore, which is where scientists start to wonder. What if the Big Bang wasn't the start of everything? What if it was just a moment in an even grander, more complex cosmic history? This idea challenges us to think beyond the confines of the Big Bang as the ultimate beginning. For instance, some theories propose that our universe might be just one of the many in a vast multiverse. Others suggest that the universe goes through cycles of expansion and contraction, the Big Bang being just the latest in a series of rebirths. One of the most interesting theories comes from quantum mechanics and general relativity. This blend of physics suggests that before the Big Bang, the universe might have existed in a state of quantum foam, where space and time were not as we understand them, but were instead subject to quantum fluctuations. This could mean that the fabric of the universe, the very essence of space and time, might not have begun with a bang but emerged from this quantum state. Moreover, there's the concept of inflation, a super fast expansion of the universe that supposedly happened right after the Big Bang. This inflation could explain why the universe looks the same in every direction we look. But some scientists argue that it might have happened more than once if inflation is possible. Scientists have done a lot of work to understand how the universe works. They've looked at how galaxies change over time and found that the universe is getting more clumpy. They've also looked at really old light called the Cosmic Microwave Background, or CMB for short. This light is everywhere, and it tells us the universe was once very hot and same all over. When we measure the oldest stuff in the universe, like certain light elements, we find exactly what we expect if the Big Bang really happened. It's like all the pieces fit, but we can try to go even further back in time, beyond what our telescopes can see. We think the universe was even denser and hotter back then. We've recently been able to spot signs from this time in the CMB and in the way galaxies are spread out. Before the Big Bang, things might have been wilder than we can imagine. What if the universe was playing by different rules? Let's explore how the universe might have been cooking up something big. The universe was so hot and dense that particles could pop in and out of existence. At some point, it was just a soup of quarks and gluons, which are smaller parts of protons and neutrons. 
Then, everything was so hot that even the forces of nature as we know them were all mixed up. We're talking about a time before we can use our current physics to understand, focusing on mysteries like the creation of dark matter, why there's more matter than antimatter, and, essentially, why the universe exists at all. There's this thing called quantum uncertainty, which means things at a super small level are kind of unpredictable. Because of this, the universe could do weird things, like create black holes out of nowhere. Scientists tried to calculate the chances of different events happening, but the math gave them answers that made no sense, like probabilities that were less than zero or more than 100%. This confusion is what scientists call a singularity. It's a fancy way of saying we've hit a wall with what our physics can explain. At these crazy conditions, some scientists think space and time might have popped into existence. That's what the Big Bang Theory originally suggested, the very beginning of everything, including space and time. But there were problems with this idea. For example, parts of the universe that should have never been able to affect each other somehow ended up at the same temperature. Also, the universe's expansion and the amount of stuff in it matched up perfectly. And if the early universe was as wild as we think, why don't we see any weird leftovers from back then? Some might shrug off the origins of the universe as a mystery without reason, but that's not good enough for science. Instead, scientists have been working on new ideas that still fit with the Big Bang successes and explain these weird puzzles. From a universe too wild for our current science to understand, what's the big idea that might change our view of the beginning? Next up is a theory that challenges what we thought we knew about how it all started. About 40 years ago, scientists introduced a groundbreaking idea known as cosmic inflation. This theory proposed a big change in how we think about the universe's beginning. Instead of saying everything started from an infinitely small point, cosmic inflation suggests there's a point in time beyond which we can't go back. This idea starts with a universe not full of matter and light like we see today, but filled with a special kind of energy that's part of space itself. This energy caused the universe to expand really quickly, much faster than it's expanding now, and this expansion happened at a steady, unchanging rate. Because of this rapid expansion, the universe got stretched out so much that it ended up flat and smooth, with tiny ripples caused by quantum mechanics. Then, something amazing happened. The energy that was stretching space turned into the matter and radiation we're familiar with. That moment is what we call the hot Big Bang. It's not that the universe was born from a singularity where physics breaks down, but it transformed from this energetic state into the hot, dense universe that would cool down and become everything we see. Inflation solved some big mysteries that the original Big Bang Theory couldn't explain by itself. It made predictions about the universe that, over the past few decades, have been confirmed by observations. We're still figuring out a lot about how inflation happened, but the evidence supporting it is pretty strong. So, the Big Bang isn't about everything coming from a point of infinite density. It's about how our universe came from a hotter, denser, and more uniform state. And before that, cosmic inflation set the stage, making our universe flat, empty and uniform on a large scale. This means the Big Bang might not be the very beginning of everything, but it marks the start of the universe as we know it. If the Big Bang marks not the beginning, but a moment of transformation in an ever-evolving universe, then what wonders, what worlds, what mysteries lie beyond the horizon of our understanding? What does this mean for our place in the cosmos? As we peer into the void, searching for signals from the universe's infancy, we're not just uncovering the secrets of our origins we're unlocking the possibilities of our future. What if, in the grand tapestry of the cosmos, the story of the universe is not a tale with a beginning and an end, but an endless narrative of creation, transformation, and exploration?